First, according to Illinois law, as you may know, the governor can take emergency action for 30 days. After that, the legislature needs to act. We have now been living under the governor's emergency orders for 638 days. We have a representative form of government here in Illinois, not a dictatorship. It's past time for the legislature to do their jobs and to lead. This is even more important when we recall that the emergency declarations have included such actions as closing parks, ordering us to stay indoors, closing small companies while leaving Fortune 500 companies open, and allowing a family of six to drive in a car to a boat ramp, but only two of those people could get on the boat. We know that COVID has more impact on our elderly population. From the beginning, we have also known that this disease has less impact on children than the flu. Yet the governor has made children bear the brunt of his mitigation measures. The governor and president have also mandated vaccinations using emergency powers several months ago for certain professions and businesses. As of yesterday, the percent of the adult population with at least one vaccine dose is 82% as reported by IDPH. What I find interesting is that according to IDPH, the percent vaccinated has decreased in the last two months. How does this happen? Did we suddenly have an influx of people moving into the state of Illinois or are the vaccinated moving out? I believe the vaccine has a positive impact on outcomes and reduces symptoms based on the data. It does not, however, prevent people from contracting or from spreading COVID. Also, since September, over 33% of those dying with COVID are vaccinated. This data indicates that even if you are vaccinated, you should contact your doctor if you are sick, particularly if you are in a vulnerable age group, because as this data shows, older patients are still far more likely to be hospitalized. As you are all aware by now, the Orland Park Village Board has disagreed with mandates and has encouraged people to do their research, talk to their doctors, and make decisions that are best for them and their families. The case rate in Orland Park compared to the state and county the case curves in other states and counties, and the fact that there is at least 12 different variants of COVID demonstrate that in spite of many different approaches, COVID is not going to be eradicated. Currently, 11% of hospital beds in Illinois are being used by those with COVID-like illnesses, and 19% of hospital beds are open. We are no longer in a state of emergency. It's time to start learning to live with this disease by taking common sense health and safety measures while going back to living our lives as we have been doing in Orland Park since last year.